Hi everyone, it's Calculus by Christy, and in this video, we are going to calculate the derivative of an inverse function. But first, I want to give a huge thank you to Cam Wise Music for buying me this coffee. I've been listening to Cam Wise Music for years. He is awesome. If you haven't checked out his music, make sure to click here and check out his channel. And if you go back in time, you can see his math videos that he makes up lyrics to and sings about math topics. And I highly recommend you check out his trigonometry math song. Pretty good stuff. Uh, so thank you again, Cam Wise. Not only do you have great music, but you have a great heart. And thank you so much for this coffee. And now back to the math video. Like I said, in this video, we're going to be finding the derivative of an inverse function. And in this problem, we are given a function f of x, and we're asked to evaluate the derivative of the inverse function at 13. Now, if you'd like to see a video where I explain a little bit more about the derivative of an inverse, click here to see that video. Now you may think, all right, I can find the inverse function by maybe switching the x and the y and solving for y. Maybe you've learned that in past math classes and then take the derivative of that function. But sometimes that's, and in this case also, nearly impossible to do. So instead, I'm going to find the derivative of the inverse function by only using f of x. And let's see how. I like to set it up in a way that I can organize my information. So I'm going to write f of x here, and I'm going to put space to write an ordered pair. And then I'm going to put f inverse of x, so the inverse function to f of x, and its ordered pair. Then underneath, I set up the derivatives. And I always know that I'm going to take the derivative at whatever x value we have for the function. In this case, it's what we're actually being asked to find. We are asked to find the derivative of the inverse function at the x value of negative 13. Now, we always find derivatives at x coordinates or at x values. So I know for the inverse function, my x coordinate has to be negative 13. And the relationship between a function and its inverse is that the x coordinate of its inverse is actually the y coordinate of the original function. And now we need to calculate the x coordinate of this original function f of x with only the y coordinate. So I'm going to take this y coordinate, negative 13, and replace it over here for f of x. All right, and now to solve this for x. Well, this is also pretty challenging to solve, so instead I'm going to use a guess and check method. And by doing that, I pretty much just guess and check certain x values that if I plugged in would give me a value of negative 13 as an answer. And it turns out, I can try a bunch of different numbers, but it turns out if I plug in negative three into my x values here, this would actually produce the y coordinate of negative 13. So the x coordinate that matches the y coordinate of f of x is going to be negative three. Since that's the x coordinate of f of x, it's going to be the y coordinate of f inverse. Now, because we find, just a reminder, derivatives at x values for f of x, we're going to calculate f prime of its x value, which is negative three. In order to find this, I first have to find f prime of x. And up here is my original function f of x. Here we have a constant multiple, 1 over 27. So I'm going to leave that constant multiple in the front. And then I'm going to take the derivative of x to the fifth. That gives me 5x to the fourth. Plus the derivative of 4x cubed is 12x squared. And now I can evaluate what I need to find. f prime of negative so let's take our derivative and in the place of x, let's substitute in negative 3. And calculate that. And that comes out to be 19. So let's write that right here for f prime of negative 3. And the relationship between the derivative of inverse functions is that the derivative of the inverse function will be the reciprocal 
to f prime of negative 3. So my final answer is 1 over 19. And that's how you find the derivative of an inverse. I hope you found this video useful in helping you understand how to find the derivative of an inverse. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so that you can see future calculus videos. Have a great day, everyone.